Lord, please don't let me drop this bowl. All right, it looks like popcorn from here. See? All nice and white, fluffy like popcorn. Jagged yellow teeth. Hey guys, here are the cliff notes to how to prepare your dry beans for pressure canning if you don't want to watch the whole video. And I don't know why you wouldn't want to. First step, sort your beans. Second step, wash your beans five times, at least five times. Not kidding, wash your beans. Third step, soak your beans overnight. Step four, after your beans have soaked overnight, you're going to rinse your beans thoroughly, 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 thoroughly rinse your beans, okay? Step five, put the beans back in the pot, fill the pot up with fresh water all the way to the top, to the top of the, to the rim, and then boil those beans for two minutes only, only two minutes, cut the heat, let them soak for one hour and then drain. Now your beans are ready. So what was that, five steps? And that's not me telling you all of these steps, making them up, that's not a homestead heart. That's, I mean, she says that too, but this is what the USDA Department of Agriculture and the National Institute of Food and, Agri and Agriculture, that's what they say to do. So that's not us just being extra. Those are your five steps, sort, wash, drain, put back in pot, fill with water, boil for two minutes, turn off to heat, soak one hour, drain, get to pressure canning. That's it. So if you don't want to watch this whole video, those are your steps. You can cut off the video right now. Hey guys, it's Nikki with The Messy Homesteader where I bring you videos to inspire you and encourage you to just start on your homesteading journey. Whether you have acres of land or a tiny itty bitty 500 square foot apartment in New York City, you can be more self-sufficient wherever you are. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I prepare my navy beans before I put them in my pressure canner. FYI, everything that you see here, I've gotten from Mrs. H, AKA Homestead Heart. I will be linking her video on how to, on how she prepares her beans before she pressure cans them. That will be linked down below. I think everybody should watch that video. She explains the why of why it's a soak that a lot of people don't do. And I think it's very important that um, everyone sees that and then they can make a decision whether they want to soak their beans overnight or not. But once you see her video, you will more than likely want to soak your beans, trust me. Okay, so let's get to the video. Okay, look, I just got home from my son's track meet. We, I've been gone since eight o'clock in the morning. I had to take him to school at 5.45. I am tired. I have been home less than 45 minutes, but I'm about to prep these beans, which tells you why it is important to really prep your beans before you put them in your pressure cooker, because I'm tired and I want to just go to sleep. What we have here today, I have exactly four pounds of navy beans, okay? I would have gotten more, but sprouts, I was scraping the bottom of the barrel trying to get four pounds of beans. So that's what I got. The first step, you're going to pick out all the rejects, all the cracked beans, imperfections, cracked beans, split beans, rocks, anything that don't belong there. Instead of pouring all the beans in a pot, I do a batch at a time so it's not so overwhelming for me. Now remember, I just came back from a track meet. I'm tired. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Just enough to cover my container, okay? Just enough to cover my container. So it's narrow, it's not very high. I mean, it's not narrow, but it's low, okay? And I like it like that because the beans can really spread out and it's easier for me to find the rejects, okay? Now, a casserole dish would work just fine. And then you'll have two other pans. It seems like a, a lot of extra dishes, don't worry about it. Two extra pans, why I have those. So while you're digging in here for the rejects, 
dig, dig, dig. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. You got to go pick these out. I go through the whole batch and I pick out the bad beans and put them in the reject pile. Okay, The reject pile stays off to my side. Once I see all the beans are nice and good to go, I will pour them into the other container. Okay. Now I just fill it back up and I go on and on and on. That way I'm not just constantly looking and looking and looking because for me I kind of get my eyes get glazed over and it, it just uh it just takes more time for me so I find this system for me worked pretty well the only thing with navy beans that I really don't like is that they're so small so it's kind of hard to grab them like the broken ones so I'm looking here and this is why I like a longer surface like a, a pan or a, a wide dish is because I can get them flat almost and then I can see easier, did I see that right? It's easier to see the rejects, okay? So this looks fine. This looks fine. So this gets poured into the good pan. Okay, now, if you want, if you wanna do this and then stop, like Simon says, or musical chairs until you find one that sticks out, boom, I just found one. You can do that. This looks fine. I'm going to pour it into the good pile. If you feel like you might have missed some, don't worry about it. Once you add the water, a lot of times the cracked and messed up ones will float to the top. They out to themselves. So I'm going to dump this into my good tray and then, well actually, since all this is good, let me just dump this right back in here. Okay. I didn't do that before. I just poured everything into the good pan. So these are my good beans. I am going to wash these beans. Look, there's a cracked one right here, okay? Now listen, cannot stress enough to you. Don't stress about trying to find all the cracked, damaged beans. Find as much as you can, and then when you wash them, you can look for some more cracked beans, okay? Don't spend an hour trying to find some cracked beans, okay? Okay guys, I'm at the sink. And I have my bowl that I transferred from my uh, shallow pans. And we are going to wash these beans a whole bunch of times. A whole bunch of times. Okay. Hold on. I don't like my jewelry on when I'm washing. All right. Now, actually, what I, what I should have done is separate these beans. I only have four pounds, but I really should separate these beans into two pots or two bowls. So now we're just gonna wash. And like Mrs. H, Homestead Heart, you're not really just washing, you are scrubbing because beans are very, very dirty. And some of them are gonna, uh, might pop out the bowl. I have a smaller bowl here, but that's okay. As a matter of fact, let me put the stopper in because I don't want dried beans going down uh, my drain. But look at this dirtiness. Oh, look at this. You wanna squeeze and massage. Look at that, look how dirty that is. Can y'all see that? Look at that. Look at that dirt, okay? Let me get my strainer. Okay, so take my little strainer. I'm just gonna pour this upside down. All right. Oh, look, I see cracked ones. Sometimes when the beans are wet, you can really start to see the fakers and imposters. Okay, and sometimes the water just brings out the worst than the beans. Okay, so good. So that was the first wash. Now remember, you are, let me show y'all, like I have to show my sons when I teach them how to wash their behinds. You got to get your hands in there and you, you see, you see all the tendons flexing in my hand? You see all that? This is when you're working. You got to squeeze this, you squeezing your child who just told you they got a science project due tomorrow. <laughs> And it's 10 o'clock at night. You gotta squeeze them beans, okay? Squeeze, massage, release. More dirt. Now see, when you guys watched Mrs. H and she showed you all that dirt, you were like, what? 
Yeah. I'm gonna straighten it. Beans are dirty. Look at that, see? That's why I said don't worry about trying to get all the reject beans. When you wash them, they will reveal themselves to you. You see all those tan beans? Now, some of them are cracked, some of them, it's a lot. I might have to go sit down and pick through these again, but that will happen. Just want you to know. And keep a little container nearby when you're washing the beans because when you start getting those rejects, you'll have somewhere to put all the, the fakers. All right, I'm gonna wash it about five times. This is what, wash number three? Not so bad, but still cloudy. It's still cloudy, so. That's wash number three, complete it. Come on, number four. And the more you wash your batch, the fakers really show themselves because the beans are getting really clean. Now look, see, you'll have some of the shells, the casings, Wait, I don't think you can see that. Looks like suds, but look here. Y'all see that? These are shells that just floated to the top, okay? So the bees will help you out too. They're like, get on out of here. They start kicking out their own people, okay? So that's low hanging fruit. Grab those uh, shell coverings, okay? Grab massage release. Grab massage release. Relax, relate, release. For all my old school heads who know about Whitley in a different world. Relax, relate, release. Now listen, I'm tired. So look, look at that. You see the difference between this water and the first batch? Okay, so that's four. I'm gonna do five for good measure. Look, look at that water in the sink. Look at that water in the sink. Can y'all see that? I don't know if you can really see that. It's dirty. All right, last pass, last wash. So yeah, that looks much better, much better. That's what you want. That's what you want your water to look like. So let's drain that. All right, that was five times. I'm gonna set this aside because once I'm done doing this batch, I, I'm just gonna, look, I'm gonna take my behind to a chair and I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna watch a movie and I'm gonna pick through those beans and then I'm gonna come back, okay? But I at least wanted you guys to see Homestead Heart was not being extra. She meant what she said. You gotta wash these beans. And I gotta get in frame. Hold on. What I done did. Okay, there we go. Is that better? Okay, yep, this is dirty. You gotta wash those beans. And listen. Once you washed your beans a couple of times, they will feel less gummy or less grungy. They'll feel squeakier. You will feel the difference. Yep, look at that dirt. Y'all see that dirt? Okay. Make sure your veins are showing when you do this, okay? Dirt, be gone. You see all the tan ones? Okay, now actually some of the tan ones, yeah, now nah, I was thinking I could save a couple. You always want to save somebody, but nah, then mm -mm, no. All right, you got to start practicing your preps. Okay, just get in there. Don't worry about blowing up stuff or making mistakes. I'm, I'm probably going to make about five mistakes when I can tomorrow. And trust and believe, y'all going to let me know. And that's okay, because I have no ego in this fight. I'm trying to get better. So y'all can tell me, I'll just do it with love and respect, and I'm open to the message. Look at that. Look at that mess. This is why you wash your doggone beans. I need toothpicks under my eyelids. Okay, but we're gonna do this, all right. Look, if you lazy or messy like me, you're gonna take the beans and go sit down somewhere and just pick through the beans until you feel satisfied that you got all the imposters and then go on with life, okay? I'm in my mama's cave. So uh, I'm gonna have, I mean, I'm gonna be watching my YouTube movie right here. 
I got the reject pile right here. And these are the two bowls that we washed in the kitchen, okay? And I got my drink, okay? I got a cold drink and I got my tea because I'm tired. I'm tired and then I still have to go spray one of my trees. All right, so can y'all see me? Hold on, let me... All right, okay. So I'm just going to be watching my... What am I going to watch? I think I'm going to start... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to watch. I think I might watch uh, Don't Look Up. I keep hearing about it. And while I'm watching it, I'm just going to pick through here and watch something that you don't mind not looking at the screen, okay? Otherwise, you'll keep watching the movie and not doing what you need to be doing. Or listen to some music or an audio book. You can be productive with your time. I'm just going to dig through here because when I watched these guys, I really saw how many duds are in here. Now factor that into your canning. Now I said I had almost exactly four pounds. By the time I'm done here, I might have three, uh, three quarters of a pound, three and three quarters of a pound. It's a lot of broken split beans. And also sometimes the beans are fine and then when they get wet, they split. So keep that in mind. But listen, I'm not gonna go through all these beans with you. Y'all can't see my head, but y'all y'all see what I'm doing, right? Okay. All right. The beans. Oh, this ponytail. Let me see. All right. All right. Um, uh, I can't make up my mind with that camera. I don't know if y'all want to see me or the beans, but overnight the gains gains. The beans will start to off gas. So they'll start releasing whatever gases are left, okay? That's where all that white foam comes from. I believe it's called lectin, but whatever it is, we don't want that. Oh, my hair's getting on my nerves. Oh my gosh, I've just been in that sun all for like eight hours. Oh, all right, let me just... I, as your energy goes down, your standards go down as well. That's life too, huh? When you're tired, you just don't have the fight in you. So... I I might pass on some of the tan ones. Oh, uh, no, I can't. Some of them are looking a little sturdy, but, but tan. But, you know, when I squeezed them, they gave up the ghost. So I'll probably be here 20 minutes picking through these beans. Now, when I did kidney beans, it wasn't nearly like this. Plus, the beans are bigger, and it was easier to see. Small white beans are harder, in my opinion. So when we're done with this, we're going to put this in a big pot, fill it with water, cover it, put a cover on it, and it's going to sit on uh, the stove, turned off, yep. so it's got to be said because there's somebody in the back of the classroom that's going to turn it on and then burn down the house. Don't do that. Ugh, okay, so I see a lot of duds in here. I'm tired. Oh, I wish I was live so I can ask y'all, is it okay to have like 50 duds of beans in your pot? Maybe I got a bad batch. But anyway, I'm going to finish picking through this. Look at all that. Oh, it looks like a whole bunch of rotten teeth. Mm, rotten teeth. Don't feed your babies rotten teeth. Okay, now I'm motivated to get all these beans out because they look like old witch's teeth. All right, 20 minutes later. But you see the difference? These are rejects. And these are our desirables. Let me, hold on, let me turn this light down. I want y'all to see all this work I put in and how much is worth it. All right. I hope I don't. Lord, please don't let me drop this bowl. All right, it looks like popcorn from here. See? All nice and white, fluffy like popcorn. Jagged yellow teeth. Nice, fluffy Amish popcorn. Rotten, I ain't brushed my teeth in five months. Look at that. See? So we're going to go put this in a pot with some water. Going to put a lid on it. Then we're going to be done until tomorrow all right let's go 
Okay guys, I'm back out of my mama cave and I have my flunky beans separated. You know, the dried, rotten tooth or rotten teeth. I have that separated from my desirables. Now, all right, so got a little cauldron. So I'm gonna pour all the good beans into the big pot that we're going to soak the beans in overnight. So pour. Now I advise you not to be looking at those beans. Otherwise you're gonna start picking them and it'll be another 15, look at that. 15, 20 minutes picking the beans. So don't look at them. Don't do what I did. So don't do that. Don't look at the beans, okay? You're good. Now let's fill this baby with some water so we can put the cover on and then set it on the stove. Okay. I'm using just some distilled water. You can use spring water, whatever water you want. Just, I wouldn't recommend tap water, stop pouring, and all kinds of chemicals in it. So you want that much water. I always fill my pot up to the top. Uh, I'll probably leave like an inch from the very top, but you can go as high as you want to because the beans are going to soak up that water. So just fill, the, fill your pot up as high as you can go. So, you gotta put the top on. This. I like clear tops. All right, perfect. Put your top on. Don't, I've never cared about the temperature of the water. I just use room temperature. So do you, I'm sure if there is a reason to use cold or warm, somebody will tell me in the comment section. So far, that's what I've been doing. And Got your beans here and boom, put it on your stove in the back so it's not disturbed. Ouch. That's it. It's really easy. So my battery's low because I was at that track meet all doggone day in the heat. So I and y'all don't be scared. Y'all come join me. Strength in numbers. See y'all tomorrow. Love you. Hey guys, it's the next day of soaking my navy white beans overnight. And we're going to check on them and see how they've done. Okay guys, it's the next day, next morning. And these beans, these navy beans have soaked overnight. And let's see what we got here. Okay, we got some foam. Now, you know, what? I think somebody, I'm not going to say any names, messed with this because there was actually more foam up here. I think this might have been turned on. <laughs> I think my husband might have turned it on thinking I forgot to turn on the beans to cook because um, there was like foam all over here. Uh, but believe me, guys, I think I have a snapshot of it. I'll show it to you. Someone turned the turn this pot on thinking I forgot to turn it on to cook when I just needed this to soak overnight. So if you got people in your house who are active in your kitchen, give instructions. Hey, I'm doing this. Don't touch this because they might be trying to quote unquote help you out. That's all right though. So just take that out. And um, once we get all this out, we're going to uh, rinse it. All right. Now you see, I have a lot of beans in here. It's at the top of this colander because the beans have expanded. So that's a lot to really clean. So I'm just gonna rinse in here. I'm probably gonna drop some beans in the sink. And we don't want that. So learn from my mistakes, see? Losing little beans off to the side, but I'm gonna grab them. But let's get these beans back into the pot. So note to self, we're doing these beans, do a batch at a time. Okay, I have all the beans back in the pot. I'm going to fill this with water. I filled the pot up with fresh water, okay? And I filled it, uh, about I left an inch from the rim of the pot, okay? Okay guys, so I have the pot of beans filled up with water. I have about maybe an inch and a half of headspace from the water to the, the rim. I just set the timer for two minutes because the beans are now boiling. You see all this extra starch, all this foam. Let me uh, put the cover on. Okay. 
All right, that's the timer. It's been two minutes. See all that? Look at all that steam. Look. Let me turn that off. That's because I have the the, um, the lid on, guys. If you don't use the lid, you won't have that much steam coming out and dropping water everywhere. And now I'll just set the timer for one hour. Let these beans soak for an hour. And then your beans are ready to do whatever you want to do with your pressure canner. Okay, so the beans have been soaking for one hour. Okay guys, I took a shower while the beans were soaking. Beans are drained, they're hot and ready to be seasoned or whatever you wanna do with them before you pressure can them. Okay, I know this seems like a long video. It was a long video, but really the steps are faster and quicker, okay? I just wanted to give you some commentary and some explanations so you know the why of what you're doing. So these beans are ready. Now my next video, we're going to be canning these navy beans. I'm gonna season them too. It really is it really is simple and easy and it's well worth it. Your belly will thank you and other parts of your body will thank you. You won't be so gassy and you won't have all of that starch. You saw all of that foam. You won't be ingesting all of that. So uh, I implore you at least try it out and see how the beans taste versus any other way that you've been doing them. This In the end y'all, just pressure can, okay? I just showed you one way to, rep to prepare your beans. There are other ways. Whatever route you take, I'm thinking of football, whatever route you take, just pressure can. Just start or keep going if you have started. So this is Nikki with The Messy Homesteader and I'm just trying to encourage you and inspire you to get started. Just start, messy or otherwise, just do it. Get on that journey to self-sufficiency. I love you guys, bye-bye.